There are many good things with the Denver Broncos making a change at offensive coordinator and bringing in Pat Shermer. The need for additional tight end help is now gone. Pat Shermer's offense is 11 personnel, which means three wide receiver sets and fewer tight ends. That doesn't mean the position is worthless, just not as valued. Denver invested a first round pick in Noah Fant and he will have a role in the Broncos offense this next year. While tight ends aren't valued, Shermer does utilize one in his offense that maximizes spacing. This is not good news, however, for the depth tight ends on the Broncos roster. With there being a lesser value placed on the position, there will be less tight ends to make the 53-man roster, increasing the fight to make the roster. With Jeff Hireman, Jake Butt, Austin Fort, Troy Fumagalli, and Bug Howard as the other tight ends on the roster, it is likely that three of them are not on the Broncos 53-man roster this next season. Now, to minimize the loss, the practice squad can be an option for Austin Ford at least. He had a strong 2019 preseason as he was pushing to make the roster before being lost to injury for the season. Bug Howard was also having a strong training camp, but he was also lost to injury. If he impresses during the offseason programs and training camp, he is another potential practice squad option. When it comes to Jake Butt, he had promise when the Broncos drafted him, but injuries have just derailed his career. This will be his last chance to stick with the Broncos after playing only a few games in his career. Another young draft pick for the Broncos is Troy Fumagalli, who just hasn't quite gotten it for the Denver Broncos yet. This is going to be a make it or break it year for him, so if he doesn't impress, it's time to move on. Lastly, there is Jeff Hireman, who is just another guy, meaning that the Broncos can do better than him, but they can also do worse than him. He's a solid veteran option and brings decent blocking, but will that be enough to keep him around? What the Broncos also have to consider is Andrew Beck, who showed a lot of promise as a receiver and a blocker, and also Andy Janovich. Beck is a fullback tight end hybrid, but Janovich is a pure fullback. The offense doesn't have a use for a fullback outside of very few plays, so it'll be interesting to see if Janovich gets a shot as a tight end just to use him. Beck should have some chances as he is a hybrid tight end and fullback. It'll be interesting to watch how things unfold for the Denver Broncos in the tight end position over the offseason. One thing is for sure, because of the scheme change, this is one position that is fine as it is. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.